So the Deshaun Watson matter pops up even stronger now. And I got a completely different take on this. I got two things I want to point to with regard to this matter. Oh, I got to show off the EV. What's up? <laughs> oh, we have another one too. Yeah. I, I can kind of see these things. I mean, I can see the contrast. The HBO presentation somehow, okay, so the accusers came out. They came out. No, I mean, they've already been out. And, and okay, they talked about why the grand jury didn't get Deshaun Watson for whatever crimes it was, okay? There's two things I got to say here. One, that there's always going to be another chance for this to come back out. It, I don't know. There might be some kind of statute of limitation that might play that kind of game, but there's a long time that this could still come out, okay? There's multiple different types of grand juries. I think the grand jury only might work for like, a month, maybe just at one time, they get a new one or something. It's just regular people that kind of get pulled in. You, you, may, you may have gotten this stuff in the mail out there. Who knows? And then um, they might do it just for a quarter or a whole year. I don't know. I don't think a whole year. But it, first of all, you, you got di different types of grand juries. But I, I It actually was a no bill. I, thought, I was under the impression that the foreman who takes us to the grand jury just says, ah, fuck it, we ain't going to do it. We don't have enough evidence or whatever, okay? And the other issue is this, that it's important for people to understand something, okay? The, the grand jury might say, okay, well, fuck it. I, I, we don't see this as a crime. It doesn't mean that, and a lot of people aren't missing this. It may, may doesn't, doesn't mean that, oops, a mistake happened. We see this was a mistake. Oops, he flashed the girls, whatever, okay? Or he... Whatever, whatever the way I saw it was a mistake or errors and emissions kind of insurance kind of that's why they have that kind of thing you know, so they could go after. In this case, it wouldn't be him going after them, which he could have a pretty good argument too. In in, in the civil case, I'm sure he has a counterclaim. You pay all my attorney's fees and blah 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 blah. So. They could have seen a mistake. Now, if, if, if there was, well, guess what? Then he's got a pretty good argument against them for not doing their part. I mean, but the reality is this. You met these people on Insta Instagram? Come on, y'all. I mean, I've been through multiple different doctors. I've got neurological diseases. You know, it's the first time I've ever watched my, any of my videos. And I've had multiple different types of therapists. And it just a lot of, a lot of slight touching in my body, not like the my massage kind of. I've had massages. Ridiculous. ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous uh, related directly to this matter of the uh, neurological diseases. So I guess yeah, the main point here is even 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 during a civil case, stuff can come out, and then oh, oh shit, we got this. I, I don't know what what the issue is with regard to recording things. Um, what do documents would have been signed? I mean, you should really have things documented, like disclosed on some kind of paperwork what's going to be done and how this stuff is going to change with regard to the performance of the person the athlete what they're going to you know what their goals are i mean i on all of my you know acupuncturists they've touched parts of my body but on parma ohio you can you can find these people obviously um up there at laurel hill plaza in north olmstead I, obviously i had some massage therapy with him god yeah he would really plow through some knots that i had uh this place called f y s i c a l physical therapy in um yeah orlando there's got a few different offices but you're always signing paperwork before and what, what, what's going to be done and how you're going to do different different things you're not gonna go find and you're not gonna go find these people on Instagram. So if, the fact that you're finding these people on Instagram, even on Facebook, I just think that's kind of shady. I, I I I didn't find any of my, well, the acupuncturist. I think I found her through like uh, back then. Yeah, I mean, still we used you know, I don't know if I googled it, but. And I, I did make a lot of phone calls to different places to find a little old plaza man who had a different type of mas massage okay, therapy that he did. And I'll show you. 
he made a, a fist and then took his knuckles and just went right through it, like whatever be on the quads or on the IT band over here. Shoulders, he would just plow through the um, the pecs all the way out to the you know biceps and break. Same with the back and and up and down on, on the both hands on each side of the back and just go right through it. That's one of the weirdest things I've had done, but it, it worked and it hurt, but. Uh, well, yeah, obviously out in um, Sagamore Hills, Dr. Christosik. You can see him on Facebook. But I, I met him, though. How did I find him? I threw just you know, referrals kind of thing. I don't think you're going looking for people like I'm, I'm, you know, They're all women, probably, too. Kind of weird. And I've, obviously, I've, I've, you know, I mentioned, okay, well, the massotherapy women... Um, one in Beechwood, I think. I, 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 it's been, you know, not no twenty-two. It's like you're just going from girl to girl to girl. They're like, something's going on up here, y'all. Whatever. The whole point of this video, though, was about the whole, whole issue, but it could still pop up. I, I think there's a very good chance it could come down against him, and not just that, but you need to know the difference between crime. I mean, you get into a car accident. Was it a crime? Well, the crime is traffic. Whose fault? How do you prove all that stuff? But the crime, was it, you know, is it... I mean, regarding my issue with regard to the um, no-bill thing, you could search my name, Kyle Court of Common Police. I had a first-degree felony charge against me in 2010. It sat in front of the grand jury until the end of the year. Finally, just said, oh, okay, fuck it. We're not going to mess with it anymore. I dropped the charges, kind of. Without prejudice, okay? So they can always charge me again if they wanted to make up some bullshit. New bullshit, I guess. But the thing is, that's what I was thinking. It's like, okay, so one of those kind of things whereby, ah, uh, was kind of, we don't know if we, they, maybe they did get a no bill in my, in my situation, didn't say anything. He could actually go after the, the county for the fake report that it was made or whatever because of the no bill and use that against them. I don't know, it's just really weird. I think his attorneys are really fucking with him though. Man, again, over seven minutes. I just want to keep these things real short, maybe two minutes this time. But yeah, I mean, I, I've been there the whole no bill thing, and I didn't even get a no bill. That it doesn't show on the docket, you know. Cuyahoga County Court of Common Pleas, crime, first degree felony charge against me, in 2010. But they, they didn't. I don't think they even went to the grand jury. That's why I was thinking kind of maybe maybe happened, but it's an actual no bill. That's some, that's that's deep, which you know. Now people say, "Oh, it's double jeopardy." No, they can, they can, they can, they can. It's very easy to, you know, new types of charges, or just new things get revealed. It's, it's very simple. It's serious, y'all.